All right, so we're at the hair salon now. This face mask is $165. I feel like that was terrible. That's just a bunch of just dead skin coming off. Boom, that just came out. <sighs> what the fuck? Hi, yes, it's been a very long time, but we're back at it again with another glow up video. Um, I know you may be thinking, my, why are you filming this at night? It's, it's not nighttime, it's currently 6 a.m. Yeah, um, I'm really tired right now, so like, don't worry, I'm gonna get a lot more entertaining once we like go throughout the video and it's not 6 a.m. If you haven't subscribed already, make sure to subscribe because I notice a lot of you watch my videos and you don't even subscribe. What are you doing? It's free. And also, if you subscribe from this video and comment that down below, I will like your comment because I read every single one of my subscribers' comments. Today, I'm gonna get my teeth whitened. I'm gonna get my hair extensions in. I'm gonna tone my hair. I'm going to get my nails done, my toes done. I'm gonna do a face mask. I'm gonna wax my eyebrows. I'm gonna shave. I'm gonna exfoliate my legs. I'm gonna cake my face. We're gonna find an outfit. Probably do a little photo shoot, photo shoot. A couple Ratsy, you know, pictures. So I'm gonna tone my hair because some of these pieces are literally like no, baby. orange, if you can see. So my hairstyle actually gave me this stuff to use. 20, 10, 10. Ugh, I have to rinse my hair. Boom. Okay, I have my brush, I have my toner. Let's try to do this. I don't really know what I'm doing because I'm not a hairstylist, but I mean, clearly, but I mean, I guess we'll just wing it. I feel like that was terrible. Should I even be brushing it through my hair or should I just be globbing it on my head and then just mixing it around with my hands? Like, I don't really know what the technique is. I feel like this is not what I'm supposed to be doing. Like, I feel like I should just take my hair, you know, and just like go like this and that would work better. Like, is this doing anything? I really can't tell. I just used up the whole bottle. Ugh, I can't believe I'm doing this at six in the morning. What am I doing? All right, wrap my hair up with something. Okay, I'll see you in 20 minutes. Okay, so it's been 20 minutes. I've washed my hair extensions there. I'm gonna wash this out and come back to you. Um, I have to head to the gym literally in five minutes, so I gotta wash this out real quick. Hold on, pause. I noticed a lot of you watch my videos and you don't even subscribe. Look at that percentage. What are you doing? Subscribing is free. And if you subscribe from this video and comment that down below, I will read your comment and like it. Because guess what? A girl who reads every single one of her comments and she's not lying. Go look at the comments. Does she like all of her comments? Yep, she's not lying. Go subscribe and comment down below if you subscribe. All right, I just washed my hair. I'll see you at the gym. All right, so with glowing up, it's not just, you know, exterior. What the fuck is that house? It's not just your physical appearance. You gotta, you gotta internally glow up too. That means working out, fueling your body. And to fuel your body, you need food. That's why we're at McDonald's, right before we go to the gym. Okay, so Alyssa just did her workout. Personally, I'm just, <laughs> I'm just not really for it right now. Also, I've been eating real good lately. I gained five pounds, but I love it. All right, so we're at the hair salon now. Um, this is what my hair looks like after I dried it and everything. It's definitely darker now that I toned it. It actually looks healthy for once. Usually it's really dry. This is the length that it's at right now, which is not too bad, but I want it to be longer, so that's what we're gonna do. I think it looks so much better with long hair. I posted this picture on my Instagram a couple days ago and everyone loved it, and I put my extensions in. So she just finished putting the beads in, and then now she's gonna sew in the hair. I've never had any other extensions except for clip-ins, but I feel like this made my hair still grow when I had it in. It didn't rip out too much of my hair. This was actually my third time getting this type of hair extension. It's called a weft hair extension or beaded hair extensions, but what I love about them the most is that a girl is lazy, okay? She doesn't want to put in the extra work. And guess what? There isn't any extra work. I literally treat this like it's my normal hair, shower like it's my normal hair. Wow, it looks so, so much good. I love it. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. You're welcome. Wow, this looks so good. So they have like different things I can pick from. I think I'm gonna do lemongrass ginger. This just reminds me of the nail salon because this is what my parents used to always use, just like the lemongrass ones. So I'm gonna do this one. Look at my legs. Like, what is this? You see this? Oh my God. <laughs> We're gonna fix this because uh, playing tic-tac-toe on my legs shouldn't be a game that's possible. So hopefully she can fix it. Cause I don't, I don't ever lotion after I shower. It's always real dry. I should probably, but like, it's just a lot of effort. I'll get better. If you don't know, my mom used to own a nail salon. So I used to, well she does still, and I used to work there. So I used to sit in these like every single day and get my toes done and my nails done like every other day. So I haven't been able to do that in a while, but I just turned it on to need. And we're getting 
A massage. She was treating me real good, giving me a nice massage. She gave me a foot massage, a hot stone massage. We just put saran wrap on my legs. That's cool. I ain't never seen that before. Oh, here's a little bit of a exfoliating action, a toe painting action. Ooh, I chose pink. Say hi to the vlog. Hi. Lie. So then I did this thing called paraffin wax on my feet and then she put these heated covers on but she didn't plug them in so she left me sitting there for 15 minutes but it wasn't even on. <laughs> All right, I'm home now. I got my toes done. Um, uh, I'm not really gonna show you an after because like, do you really need to see what my toes look after? Probably not. Just like, no, my legs look better. Anyways, I love this hair. This hair looks so good. I've been wearing this workout all day. It's from Gymshark. Um, oh my God, it looks like I have abs, but in reality, yeah! Yeah! this is what I look like. <laughs> but then like, if you pull them up, it's like, oh, she like slim thick. Just kidding. Instagram versus reality, everyone. Social media is fake. This is my real hair and this is the fake hair. So it's only an extra like three inches, two inches. This is actually gonna have to go into tomorrow though. Unfortunately, I can't get this all done today because I switched my nails to go get them done by the salon that did like Kylie Jenner's, Charlie D'Amelio's and all that. So that should be super fun. Um, but I'm gonna wax my eyebrows now because look at these eyebrows. They're like not doing well. Like where did the hair go there? And like, why is there so much hair here and I don't know. We're gonna wax these babies also. We're gonna do a blackhead extraction in a little bit where I literally am gonna extract all these blackheads out. I Hear me out, I just wanna try something, okay? So I have this, but I don't have the developer for it for some reason, right? Don't have the developer for this. So what I wanna do is just try to use the Shades EQ Gloss Processing Solution and see if it works. Maybe I will mess up my brows forever, but I mean, I guess we'll see. I don't have anything to mix this on, so we're gonna use a Sugar Bear um, cap and see if this works. We're doing a science experiment together. Okay, okay, so I literally need like, oh my God, I do not think that this is gonna work, but we will see. I got a little spool, this is not a spoolie. I have one of these things. Let's try it, okay. Um, so I'm just gonna take a little bit, watch this work, and I'm literally just a genius. I need to put my glasses on for this segment because I can't see. Oh my god, much better. This could either go really good or like really bad to the point where I either one, burn my eyebrows off, two, just dye my fucking face black, or three, this does absolutely nothing and this was a waste of my time. But you know, it's not like I do anything with my life anyways. We got all the time in the world. Not gonna lie, my whole life consists of YouTube. Like, I don't do anything else but YouTube. I don't mind it. All I do is make videos all day. What's really bad about it is that since I talk to y'all all day, I sometimes when I'm in person with people, I don't really talk that much because I've already talked so much all day. You know how like you get like exhausted and like after you hang out with people for too long, you just like don't wanna talk anymore? That's like me when I actually hang out with people because I've already talked so much to you. It's probably an issue and I probably should figure that one out, but I just feel like bitches with darker brows always look so good and me having gray eyebrows just doesn't, you know, it's like the opposite of what I want. I also have my eyebrows tattooed on if you don't know that already. So like my eyebrows seem really dark, but they're tattooed on. But imagine them without the tattoos. My eyebrows don't exist. Like the limit does not exist. My first time getting them tattooed, I think I was like 13 years old and I've gotten them done like three times now. I haven't gotten them done in like, I think a year and a half or two years almost because actually I really like waking up with brows, but um, the shape, it just isn't what I like anymore. Like, I just feel like it doesn't look good, but it's not bad. I'd rather have to conceal it than have to fill in my eyebrows every single day to look half decent. You don't appreciate your eyebrows until you don't have any. Like, I'm being serious. Like, only y'all realize how much of a blessing it is to, like, wake up with eyebrows or, like, wake up with lashes. I wonder if this is gonna work. We're gonna leave this on for 20 minutes, and then I'll come back to you. Okay, it's been, like, honestly 10 minutes now. Let's wipe off the front and see if this even did anything. Oh my god, wait. This actually worked. All right, so time to wax my eyebrows. I'm just gonna go for it. Just this glob of wax is scaring the frick out of me. That just got on my eyelash. Three, two. <sighs> what the fuck? That like halfway pulled off my brow. Okay, okay, now let's do the top. I usually don't like waxing the top of my brows, but I'm just gonna do it, but like leave quite a bit out. Here, three, two, one. Ooh. <gasps> let's do a big fat glob in the middle of the brow. Wax the unibrow. Three. Honestly, I'm surprised this wax is even working because I'm just oily as fuck. So like, do you see those like little, I don't know if you really can. I'm trying to show you the little hair follicles, but you can't see them. They're just like ripped out a bunch of blackheads off my face, I feel like. All right, now we're gonna do this one. This one's pretty bad, like for me. I'm scared about this one. This one's closer to the eye. Uh, three, two, I'm so scared. Why can't I do it? Like, uh, uh, that wasn't even bad. I'm just a pussy. No, oh my god, I knew I would regret that. I got so much, no, 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 this is not good. Do you see how much wax is on my real eyebrow right now? Do you see that? Oh my god, I fucked. 
That one up real hard. Okay. Oh, and it's in my hair. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm going to put this wax strip right here, and I'm only going to wax this part of my brow. Um, what am I going to do about that? Just like... Wipe it off DIY brow lamination. No. Oh my god. I literally foreshadowed this happening What do I do take some oil to my eyebrow? Maybe 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 that's a good idea I wonder if this oil free remover will work even though it's not oil. Oh my god Wait, why does the Neutrogena makeup remover work so well for removing wax? I usually use like olive oil or something, but this works so well like all the wax is gone that worked so well Okay, now let's do the upper lip. You see the thing is I hate the upper lip because for some reason it hurts so bad But we're just gonna again do it anyways. <sighs> I really don't want to do this. <sighs> Please subscribe. I'm inflicting pain on myself for content. I'm sweating, I'm sweating. Three, two. Oh my god, I hated that. Even though I literally don't care about this, I'm just doing it so that you guys can watch something funny, maybe? I don't know. Literally mid-recording my camera stop, my like ran out of fucking SD and we just have to do this. Three. <laughs> oh my god ah should i do my armpits i finally am kind of growing armpit hair guys if you don't know i don't really grow armpit hair i don't know what it is but i just like don't but i just feel like we should do my armpits for fun even though they're really sensitive should we oh but they're so sensitive though probably not like honestly like for some reason my armpits to get really self-conscious after i wax them like they just want to get red and they just like get nervous you know that was not funny okay so I decided to switch up the scenery a little bit so you um, wouldn't get bored, but we're gonna extract the blackheads out of my nose. So basically, if you can see, I got blackheads. This is what the blackheads look like. Doing a little before. Also, so many sirens right now. I checked Citizen. I checked Citizen, which is like an app where you can like see if there's anything going on. There was nothing, so I don't know what's going on. But I love the dark brow look. Like, why did I ever have light brows? I don't know. I need to tint my eyebrows all the time because I think it looks so much better. Anyways, so I'm going to extract my blackheads and try to see if it works. Basically, you just need this blackhead extractor that I got from Amazon. I'll link it down below. You turn it on. There's like different options. I'm going to do eye on negative. And basically, you have to wet your face or like put a serum on or something. We're just going to use some water. This is like the most ratch salon ever, but... It doesn't hurt or anything, but like kind of just like... Low-key zaps your face. Oh my god, do you see that? It just comes out without even trying. Right under the nose, right here. Boom, that just came out. I think I got most of them already. So this is what the blackhead machine looks like. Let's put it on a paper towel so you can really see how much gunk came out of my nose. Honestly, not that much, but I also don't have as many blackheads as I used to, but let's do my chin. Two seconds later. I think I accidentally let this touch water and now it won't even turn on. Like it's not dead. I tried plugging it in. I need to order another one because that is devastating. Whatever, we got enough blackhead action going on. Rest in peace, the blackhead extractor. You will be missed. All right, well, I think it's time to do a face mask. Let's put our hair up and we'll run a bath. Did you hear that? Someone was screaming. Did you hear that? I didn't fart. You know that that video? I put that video in way too many videos. All right, I just ran a bath. We're gonna use a face mask. I was gonna use a real pretty one, but I was like, I've had these in my drawer for like six months now, and you know what this is? I bought a pack of like five of these for $165. I bought this not because I wanted to, it was for an Ariana Grande skincare video, which I'm doing a video where I live like her for a day anyways. So, I bought this because she uses La Mer, but this is so expensive for what reason? So we're gonna use this. This is just contributing to the, the glow up, the, the money. Like I'm about to use all those juices that are left in that bag on my body after this bath. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, well, very hydrating. Let's put that all the way down my neck. All right, let's hop in the bath, y'all. We're gonna shave. Okay, so I'm just gonna lay here. Not lay, ooh, not lay. I'm gonna be in this bath for like 15, 10 minutes, like warm up my skin to make it like easy to remove. That sounded terrible. But then I'm gonna use this glove mitt thing that I got from Amazon, it's the best thing ever. I put y'all on it last year for glow videos and basically this towel alone removes all of your dead skin and you don't even need any exfoliators or any soap, you're not supposed to use soap with it and you just scrub your body and your dead skin scrubs off. So I'm gonna listen to some music or actually watch a YouTube 
YouTube video. And then we're gonna get started on the whole hair removing process because I haven't shaved my legs in like, how long? Three weeks now? Four weeks? A month? Wait, four weeks is a month. I don't know, it's been weeks. No one will be looking that close anyways. Like, why would I care? Currently exfoliating my body, and oh my god, the amount of dead skin that's coming off. I haven't done this in a while. You're usually supposed to do this every like two weeks. Right now, my arm's getting really red. If you have sensitive skin, don't suggest this. But basically, you just keep scrubbing until your skin is, uh, can't take it any longer and starts rubbing dead skin off. Do you see this? That's just a bunch of just dead skin coming off and just rolling off. Wow. That is insane. This is all just dead skin. Do you see all this? Oh my god. Oh my god. This is so gross. This is how you don't get ingrown hairs, is you exfoliate this well. We're gonna shave. Obviously, we're using the Gillette Men's 5 Blade Razor. If you want a shaving like tips and tricks for no ingrown hairs, I don't get like any ingrown hairs basically. Link down in the description box below on how I shave and like all that stuff, but ugh, satisfying. Oh my god, no, don't fall, that's disgusting. No, fuck the shit. Out of here. I'm still pissed that this is broken. My face is a lot wider than the rest of my body. I know you can't really tell right now, but like if you could compare like this to this, it's it's a lot wider because whenever I tan, I put a towel over my face because I don't want to be old and wrinkly. Even though I'm still tan the rest of my body, it makes no sense. I get it. But to combat that, we're gonna use a little bit of moisturizer. By a little, I mean a lot. And Isle of Paradise tanning drops, it's like two drops of this. Mix it together and put it on my face in hopes that we get a tan tomorrow. I hope this works because I feel like a tan face just always looks so good. I really wanna just take some and just like directly put it right in the hollows of my cheeks and see if that would work. Okay, I'm gonna use this mini brush here. I'm just gonna directly put a drop on my brush and just contour my face. This could go terrible, but it also could be the best invention ever. So I guess we will see a little bit under the nose. Do you know, do a nice little little contour moment you know directly under the jawline this could be a terrible idea but i guess we will i guess we will find out if it turns out shit, we'll just cover it with makeup all right i'll see you tomorrow <laughs> this is what i look like after waking up usually i use like an actual foaming fake tanner on my face and it always turns out orange but this actually turned out good that's why i actually bought the drops but yeah it did work if you can see it's kind of more orange i accidentally got it on my neck i guess but i don't think it really did much of the contour spots maybe just a little bit but i'm gonna wash this off so when I went to this nail salon, I was really sketched out because all the windows were covered in black dust so you couldn't see on the outside. And also they made me walk through the back door and I was like, Kylie Jenner and Charlie D'Amelio go here? No way. Anyways, I showed him the pictures that he wanted and I mean, no, not he wanted, I wanted. And he was like, uh, I don't know if I could do it. But I would just like put my trust in him and believed in him because you know you gotta believe. And I just let him do his magic. I let him put in the work. And oh my God, y'all, these turned out way better than I thought that they would. Okay, so just got back from the nail salon. This took two hours, but oh my God, was it worth it? The thing is, I'm not gonna shout out the nail salon because I went there right and I was like I was in my head I'm already gonna pay like that's the thing like I, I didn't reach out to them and be like hey like do you guys do like nails like in exchange for posts like no I called in and I was like just made an appointment like didn't mention my YouTube or anything right and like they're all talking to me where they're like oh are you going on vacation or something because like they're Hawaiian males and I'm like no I'm just filming a YouTube video right now and she was like oh like what's your at like my my Instagram I guess and I was like oh at my family and if you don't know my Instagram has way less followers than my YouTube or whatever because she was like oh yeah like I'll talk to the owner and maybe we could set something up because she probably thought I was some famous ass bitch or something <laughs> and then I go to like pay and like I obviously pay in full because I'm like yeah, like obviously that's what I was gonna do But then she went to go take a picture of my nails and she opened up her phone and my Instagram was on her screen And I was like you bitches are probably like, uh, she don't have enough followers. She's not verified. Let's not give her the free no. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking and I'm like y'all I can't believe LA runs on that system like that's fucked. Anyways love the nails though I got inspired by black bow swim where they have this bikini and I showed them this bikini and I was like I want this So we got this one and then on this hand we have the other one so pretty I'm in love with these nails I haven't had long nails in a minute just like I can't play guitar I can't play piano I can't do like all this shit anyways so I have a shoot at 7 o'clock with Andre who's a photographer so I need to get ready and like do my hair and wipe my teeth I'm just gonna time lapse this because I've done this way too many times and it's
it's gonna take a long time. So basically, I'm a professional catfish, but I kicked the frick out of my face. And if you want to know all the products I use, I linked it down in the description box below. Let me know if you want like a full makeup tutorial because I could definitely do that because you know I'm a professional MUA. Just kidding. I wish. All right, I got ready, and this is the makeup look. I did my eyebrows so dark compared to what I usually do, and I really like them. I literally just use like a black eyebrow pencil. The one I've been loving lately is this one from Kosas. They sent me it, and it is the best. And then they're also their brow gel is the best. But I need to put the jewelry on. Let's do that. The accessories. All right, we gotta put the earrings in. Andre's meeting me there right now. All right, we got the accessories down. Let me pack up my suitcase and then head to the studio. The Yo, yeah, my God, I don't even know where we are right now. <laughs> <laughs> where are we? I, I forgot that the elevator wasn't operating and that we have to walk to the top floor. It's, a it's the most run down like parking lot I've ever seen. Like. <laughs> Oh and like we're like next to like all these like factories and stuff. Like this bitch just fell down the fucking stairs. <laughs> like literally, this bitch was on that step and slid all the way down to this step. <laughs> Where the fuck is the security footage? Like, literally, one of these windows. You can't even see them. I don't see cardio, but the fact that I'm doing meals, oh my god, I'm so Like walking and carrying away right now, Manny would be so. One more. Ding ding ding. The floor. And actually, my thighs are burning. This. Oh, oh my god. I like the lights off. I don't know. There's like, I feel like twins are gonna like pop up on each side. Like. I'm scared. All right, guys. So this is today's set. Mary had a little lamb. Oh, fuck no. <laughs> I didn't even know about this, but I guess there's a little access here to look out to here, which is so freaking cute. So we're gonna shoot here right now. Maybe some fucking flash, fuck it up. Oh my god, I'm about to jump off this building? What? Not clickbait, right? <laughs> Just. Yeet. Okay, so I maybe posted these on Instagram, but if you want to go check them out, I mean, go check them out. Go hype me up in the comments. Maybe we'll both hype each other up. Make sure your account is public if you want me to hype you up, though. I'll go in your profile and go click, 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 like, 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 hype you up. Go follow my Instagram if you want to see the pics. Okay, so we're going to do an outfit change. Just shot this look. Now I'm going to do the sequin dress and do it in front of this silver wall and see how it goes. Yo, when I tell you these pictures turned out fire, they turned out fire. You need to check them out. And I'm running Day on my mind, safe to take a step out. I felt like SZA. This literally looks like the album cover art for SZA. You can't tell me any different. Like, is this SZA? Nah, she's the Walmart version. <laughs> All right, we got fit number, I think, four now. It's just a long dress. Let's do it. Hi, and welcome to another season of The Bachelorette. Here we have your youngest candidate yet. She's 18 from Canada and Vietnamese. Her only talent is making up scenarios in her head that aren't real just to make herself cry. Enjoy! It's currently 4 a.m. on the day that I'm supposed to post this, and I post this in three hours and I'm not done editing yet. I posted the Instagram pictures on Instagram by the time you're watching this already, so if you want to go check them out, if you want to go check those out, go check them out. If we can try, I know it's a stretch, try to get this picture to 100,000 likes. I would really appreciate it. I think I serve some looks. I don't know. Go check them out, I guess. Also, please subscribe if you enjoyed this video i put a lot of hard work effort and soul into this video i would really appreciate it if we got to 1.44 million subscribers i don't know if you enjoyed this video please let me know down in the comments because i seek your validation and you're the only thing that keeps me going i'm being so serious um also uh go follow my spam account if you haven't already we be talking mad shit on there not gonna lie i post like five minute stories of me just talking about my life on there it's kind of exclusive so maybe you'll get accepted maybe you won't anyways i post monday wednesdays and fridays so i'll see you on monday east and the west i'm racking up on my breath uh, power on me i'm feeling just like a tesla too much treat the smoke is making my chest hurt girl on me i'm thinking i should arrest her hey i'm thinking i should